I'm in Iceland. <laughs> I'm trying not to look full blown wild while recording this, but y'all are gonna get this in like real time. So y'all are gonna get me as I am. I woke up this morning around 7.45, 8 a.m. I knew that today I was gonna go on a trip, but I did not know to where. So I am on my goal to hit 25 countries by the time I turn 25, which is in January. I knew I had a couple days off from work. I knew I had to hit a new country, but I did not know where. I had a fresh COVID test on me and I just knew I needed to go somewhere. So woke up, I went through the best bets, the go anywhere function, and I was seeing a lot, a lot of places that I had been to, and then I started seeing one option in particular that is high up on the list. Hadn't thought I was gonna go anytime soon. I have all of the requirements to go on hand. Um, so it's Iceland. It's Iceland. I'm about to go to Iceland for like three days, and I'm beyond excited but we have to make this happen so in order to make this happen i have to fly out of jfk so to get to jfk i have to leave atlanta to go to jfk so i have to do atlanta to jfk jfk to iceland because i can't say icelandic words i'll put up the airport right here and then i will be there i am going to wait until i am sitting on the plane and the door is about to close until i book my transfer from that airport to the capital so that's where like the city center is um which is like 45 minute transfer for like 36 dollars usd okay boom so there i think i'm going to try a hostel this time i was fine booking for a hotel um but it's like galaxy pod type things and it just looked super dope when I saw it and I was like well I will give this a try for a night I'm gonna spend two nights there so I was like I'll do this for my first night if I like it I'll stay there a second night if I don't then I'll go somewhere else okay must do's while I'm there are the blue lagoon have to um and then if I can get to the airplane wreck that's in kind of like south Iceland I um, want to do that. If I can hit a volcano, I want to do that. And then I just want to eat and be in Lado cafes and live life in Iceland. So this is the thing now, I need to pack. I need to pack so that this can all come to fruition. This is the thing again, is that, <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry if I'm speaking really fast. This is literally happening in real time. I need to pack, okay? so. I like don't have all that much winter clothes, especially not for the climates in which it is in Iceland. I do want a ton of content on this trip and I am going fully solo, woke up this morning, decided I'm going. So this is gonna be all solo content. I'm gonna be tripoding it up the entire time. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> okay, I'm packed. Listen, I got three days worth of full-blown winter clothes in this bag. I truly amaze my own self when it comes to this packing. I'm on board for a flight to LaGuardia. Now, I didn't really want to do this, but um, the flight to JFK was just like super packed and I didn't want to chance it. And so I'm gonna do this and then just take a lift over to uh, JFK. So I've made it to New York. I am just outside of uh, LaGuardia about to get my lift to JFK. Um, and I'll get there about like 8 p.m. The flight is at 10.25. I'm in the same place on the standby list, so everything looks good. I might be flying Maine, but it's cool. Um, and the flight's only like five hours and 40 minutes. I was definitely expecting it to be longer, but I'm not mad about it. 
Um, and I will forever like LaGuardia's airport more than JFK, period. So I'm finally at my gate. Um, I am number seven. I'm the last person on the standby list. And there is like 17 seats left. So I'm definitely making it on. The question is, am I gonna make it into Delta One? <laughs> Yo, that's so wild. It's okay. I have a huge coat on. I was about to be like, it's not that cold, but I have a huge coat on. It's raining slightly. My ears were already starting to freeze. I'm in Iceland. It really just got light. Um, I just got my bus ticket to head into the city. It's going to be about a 50 minute drive. And then I think I'm going to take a nap real quick. I really want to see the Northern Lights tonight. Um, maybe hit a volcano today. And then we'll see what else I can get into. Okay, quick outfit change, um, and then I'm gonna go explore a little bit. I wasn't able to check into my hotel yet, so I made some plans. Let's get out and see the city. I'm actually pretty tired, but um, I just had a really good chicken lasagna. Um, I don't eat beef or pork, and so the fact that they even had a chicken option was super dope to me. I even passed like a vegan restaurant, so there are a lot of options here, which I think is really nice. I'm gonna head to the beach, and there's like a natural hot pool there, and a sauna and things like that. So I'm gonna go do that, and then it'll finally be time for me to check into my room. Yeah, I do that for a few hours, come back, might stop at a grocery store, take a shower, sleep, and then go see the Northern Lights tonight. lagoon where there's a heated pool and then that area is like heated pool with the ocean so it's like a mix and then the freezing ocean there's also a sauna and like a little area over here where you can get um like coffee and you can rent a towel um and there's a changing room and showers and stuff but now i'm finally going to clean up shower like rinse off really and then finally head to their hotel so that I can check in. Welcome to the Galaxy Pod Hostel. This is only my second time staying at a hostel. I was looking through properties to stay at and it just looked really cool so I thought I'd give it a chance. It's pretty private as far as hostels go and they also give you access to these little cubbies that hold a carry-on size luggage, which I thought was pretty nice. It only opens with your room key. Welcome to my crib, or should I say welcome to my cube? Inside each Galaxy Pod, there is a TV, there's a spot for headphone jacks, there are multiple lighting what was best about this was the outlets on here. I forgot my outlet and so when I saw that I was super happy. They also have USB um, ports so that's super useful. The pod is powered by your room key and there's a lock that you can do internally. 
Okay, so I just woke up from a well-deserved nap. I completely knocked out. But now, let's go chase some northern lights. <laughs> this morning but you can tell where I am <laughs> I'm at the blue lagoon so I got the premium package so there are different masks you can get with each package with the premium you get all three so this is the one you start with I'll do a little on the skin too you keep this on for 10 minutes she said They tell you that like the sulfur is uh, hard on your hair and it's true, like I can feel it. If you're planning on creating content, I highly suggest going early in the morning. I got picked up at 7.30. I was literally there when the doors opened. I was hanging out in this area for like 10 minutes with no one around me. This is a really large part of the lagoon actually. So there are definitely ways to get beautiful content without people in them and just be able to chill and vibe in the Blue Lagoon. It's a really great experience. at the bar so the green band is great because you get a free drink in the bar in the um where are we in the lagoon and then <laughs> you get a free drink in the restaurant as well okay this was the part i was dreading is getting out i'm gonna get out to recondition my hair because this water the sulfur is so hard on your hair and like i figured it'd be kind of bad but it's it's intense. Um, I conditioned my hair before I got in, but it basically all rinsed out because of my pictures. So I'm about to get out to do that. I'm going to put my phone down for a little bit and then I'm going to come back in. to have dessert in the lava restaurant if you look behind me it looks like you're like in a volcano so gonna do that and then I'm gonna head back into the city um, in about an hour It's a 
today is a good day. This was such a good decision. <laughs> All right, so I am about to head out and get this last hour of sunlight that I will have in Iceland. Um, I'm gonna try to go by this really um, like church that's right in the town center um, and then get something to eat. And even though it's cold, I might get some ice cream. Um, this is the last bit, kind of just like a street style. Let's get on the road. It's currently 41 degrees, it's starting to rain, the wind is probably like 30 miles per hour and I'm just trying to get a picture in front of this church. That's all I'm trying to do, look at my hair. <laughs> As soon as I open it up, it's just like research and game placement, which I think is so funny because I figured all this out in a couple of hours. Um, I'm very, very thankful and really excited that I made the decision and that I came and that it's been such a great trip. Yeah, this is, this is one for the books. I look a mess. That was easy enough though. So yesterday I scheduled my COVID test to be done at the bus station for 7.15. I got to the desk at 7.15. I was heading back to the airport, or not to the airport, to my hotel by 7.21. Y'all, they took my hot sauce <laughs> when I was going through TSA and I'm so sad. Y'all, I do not know why something like this happens to me on every single trip. It's too chaotic. So um, to go back to the airport, the fly bus company doesn't stop at my hotel. It stops at a hotel like one block over from me. And so I had to be there at 8 a.m. and I walked out at like 8.02 and I'm walking one block up and I see the bus like driving away. I literally <laughs> chased this bus for probably like minutes I don't even know how many blocks like so a mess until I eventually just went into a hotel and asked them to call me a taxi to get to the bus station <laughs> but I made it onto the bus so it's cool <laughs> <That's> cool. <laughs> 